Hey guys, welcome back to Aria Moore's Makeup Room where we learn and grow together. Today I am here with the eyeshadow tutorial. We decided to go ahead and do an inspirational look for Cosmo and Wanda. If you are not familiar with who that is, they are the fairy odd parents, fairy godparents from Fairly Odd Parents. And I believe this show used to air on Cartoon Network. It used to be one of my favorite, 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 favorite shows. Either Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon. It's been so long since I've watched it, but I don't really know. But guys, I absolutely love them together. So I combined the two colors to create this amazing look in inspiration of them guys before we get into the video please make sure you are subscribed to the channel especially especially if you're new here leave some comments down below and make sure you give this video a nice big thumbs up it helps the channel grow it helps the channel keep moving guys all right let's go ahead and get into this look let's go all right guys we're going straight into our morphe palette using the shade green this is the darkest green that's on this palette guys we're going to flatten out and smooth out these eyelids just to make sure there's no creasing because I had my eyes open for a little bit and it's been setting for a while so it did crease up. Now you guys are just going to see me create the shape on the eyelid area that I'm going for which is more like a wavy up and down spiral look. Nothing too crazy but very very simple. Now you can just throw your eyeshadow on and clean it up later with like a pick or something and kind of smoothing out all of the lines and then do like a cut crease and stuff to create the shape that you're looking for i felt like if i went ahead and created the shape now it would keep me very sturdy throughout the entire process because sometimes if you just go in and you just throw your eyeshadow on and you blend around and you have that intention to clean up you end up with more of a blown out look than you really want and i just wanted to make sure this look was not blown out so i decided to do it this way do it however you feel like fits and suits you better but yeah i am also using a um, eyeshadow brush that has that pointy end i'm not sure what the name is but that is what i'm using now you guys are going to see me go right into another palette with a light green this palette actually came from amazon um, my morphe palette did not have the light green that i wanted to match this dark green i didn't want the color to look too far apart from each other so you guys just see me using another eyeshadow brush to kind of follow that line and just add everything in i'm not like using big circular motions i'm literally packing that color right on top and just smoothing it out very slowly okay guys this is what we looking like okay this is what we looking like so now i'm gonna go ahead with my flat brush and we are going to clean up the lines guys you see how it's pretty much like the cut crease was already there without it really being there that's what i meant at the beginning of the video like i wanted to make sure that i already had the shape that i was going for just to make the process easier that way i can see what was happening with the look it kept me very um controlled so yeah that's why i decided to do it that way but now i'm just going in with my actually this is not concealer today this is my eyeshadow primer going in with my white eyeshadow primer to create this cut crease and the reason why i'm using the eyeshadow primer today is because the eyeshadow primers dry a lot quicker compared to the concealers okay concealers take a minute to dry and i needed everything to be nice and tacky so that i can go into my next color and finish this look right away so it's just a preference thing like if you feel like you have time to wait for your concealer to dry down allow it to do just that if you do not have the time to wait on it to dry down i do recommend using a eyeshadow primer guys eyeshadow primer it's a base okay they do the same things just the process just a little bit quicker for one compared to the other but yeah guys you see what's happening okay so we got that going now we are going to go into another eyeshadow palette guys i ended up using like three um this is my juvia's and i just love her pink so i had to go ahead and add my pink for miss wanda so the green on my eyes represents um her husband cosmo and then the pink is for wanda i decided to go ahead and add them both on one eyelid to just create a couple dynamic i love how they are a team i love how they stay together although that they are very very different and that's why i created this little tiny bit of space between them because even though they are fairly different they always come together out of love and that's the reason why i chose to do the eyes the way that i did so we're just packing on that pink and taking our time 
um, loading it up, making sure everything is nice and smooth and defined. And guys, this pink is so freaking beautiful. I also want to go ahead and let you guys know that the video playing in the background is from my podcast, Late Nights with Ari. I would love for you guys to check the description box for the link to that channel. That is my main channel. Um, I will be posting more podcasts here soon. I want you to go check out the other episodes. Ooh, we did that. Okay, literally the look could have been done from here, but I decided to keep going. Like, you know, <laughs> why not? So I went into my eyeshadow primer with my flat brush and I decided to go ahead and put that on my waterline. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. It stung a little bit. Like I went in with too much and I closed my eyes and it was like burning a little bit. But like, goodness gracious, I was so happy to be, be done. Like you can see me. I was just like, whoo, trying to play it off. It was rolling up my eyes. If you do this, take a very small amount, like really, really be careful, but you know, show goes on and I'm so used to this, like it didn't even phase me too long. So now I'm going in with orange. I actually wanted to do yellow, but that's our little secret. Okay. It was supposed to be yellow. And then I dipped into the orange and touched my eyes and I was like, <gasps> do I even want to start completely over or should I just keep going? I decided to keep going so I was just like whatever so you do have to take your time and pack those colors on um, onto that waterline it took me a little bit to get it you know nice and defined the way that I would prefer it to be but it's okay guys and I will say once the color was on there my eyes was not burning no more okay <laughs> baby I was over there tore up to pieces honey I messed up my concealer and everything in my highlight area because the tears was rolling down okay <laughs> don't try this at home okay no try it just kidding but anyway guys now you see me doing my usual I'm placing on my eyelash glue and I've got to add my bedazzle to the look there's no Ariel Moore look without no bedazzle guys so you guys see me doing that here and it is sped through very fast because why not and guys this is the final look I want to thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Make sure you like this video. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe. Check out the description box for other channels of mine, my um, other YouTubes, my Instagrams. Guys, yes. And I cannot wait to show you guys another inspirational look, guys. So we are doing a cartoon series, and I'm just so excited to be here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.